following is a presentation of my response to the human powered school bus. I figured early on in my response to the brief that any multi passenger HPV has two inherent fatal flaws. Firstly, that passengers are the vehicle's power source. As passenger numbers change, so too does the vehicle's power to weight ratio. This can vary to the point that if too many passengers get off the vehicle, it becomes immovable or at least very inefficient. This is because the vehicle's unladen weight consists of all the components necessary to accommodate each passenger and all the structure needed to span a large wheelbase. Although a very efficient power to weight economy when functioning at full capacity, this economy drops off dramatically as passenger numbers decline. And secondly, these large multi-passenger vehicles have a large turning circle making them difficult to manoeuvre in the narrow traffic corridor to which they are traditionally relegated. These were the two main problems I addressed in my response. I circumnavigated these by modulating the body with each passenger riding in their own module. This normalises the vehicle's power to weight economy as each departing passenger does so with their own module. Whilst they are still subtracting their power contribution, they are also subtracting their weight contribution as well. Each module has all-wheel steering, which when in convoy formation with other modules is controlled by an interconnecting drag link system. This means that each module near perfectly tracks the line of the module that preceded it. The entire convoy, regardless of length, has a turning circle little more than that of a single module. This modularity has the added benefit of flexible use by its passengers, with each module being a fully functional vehicle in its own right, meaning users can travel in convoy independently or a mix of both, depending on their needs and abilities. Younger inexperienced students can use the module under the supervision of their peers and guardians in a convoy, and older, more independent students can use them independently. Because each module sits idle during much of the school day, it also doubles as a portable locker for the students.